Hi guys, I hope you had a great weekend. We are starting in lesson 10 this week and we are on session number one on page 205. My page is blank because we are starting out with a try it and I want you to try it before I solve it. So before we go and jump into math, if you don't have your counters available, remember these are called counters or cubes, whatever you use, the erasers, go get your counters now, pause and restart or just start again, play, um, because you are gonna need your counters for this. All right, you have your counters, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna read you some clues. It says, listen to the clues. Use counters to find the missing numbers. Awesome. Okay, so are you ready for the clues? All right, I'm gonna get my clues. All right, it says, I have six marbles. Some are red and some are yellow. There is the same number of red marbles as yellow marbles. How many are red and how many are yellow? I want you to work on this. I'll read it one more time. I have six marbles. Some are red and some are yellow. There is the same number of red marbles as yellow marbles. How many are red and how many are yellow? So hopefully you heard some important words in there. The first one is I have six marbles. So I'm gonna get some marbles. So here's some marbles. And um, you guys are doing red and yellow marbles. Some are red and some are yellow. I'm gonna do red and blue, we'll just pretend it's yellow. Okay, I only have six. So I want you to go ahead and try this on your own and then jump in with me. All right, go. All right, good job. I hope you had um, fun with that and you got an answer that you are confident of. I am gonna go ahead and solve it how I would solve it. So I'm gonna read the clues again. I have six marbles, check. Some are red and some are blue. There is the same number of red marbles as yellow marbles. That means this is a doubles fact. Hmm. How many are red and how many are yellow. Okay, so let's do this. I have six marbles and some are red and some are yellow. All right, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have six. Done. Five are yellow and one is red. Is that right? No. There was a very important clue in there. It said, I have the same number of yellow as I have red. So I need to change this. Do I have the same number? No, I don't. So I'm gonna take out these. I took out two, so I'm gonna put two back in. Now let's see. I have six marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check. The same number of yellow, one, two, three, as red, one, two, three. Oh. There we go. That is how I would solve that. All right, the next page, if you turn the page, it says, connect it. I have eight marbles. So now I'm still dealing with marbles. I have eight marbles. Five are red, the rest are yellow. So these are word problems, which means you're going to need to Circle the numbers. All right, so let's start at the beginning. Put these down. It says, I have eight marbles. So let's all circle the number eight, circle eight. Five are red. And the rest, which is what you're gonna circle, put a box around, are yellow. So I have eight minus these five red equals how many are yellow? This is the rest, remember? Okay, so now we wanna know how many are yellow. If you look, I already wrote the equation, okay? But what you wanna do is you can use your markers and you can say, okay, 
So um, slime has eight marbles. So I need eight counters. Um, five are red. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm gonna count on with my yellow until I get to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So now I know down at the bottom, it says three yellow marbles. Feel free to use your markers, your erasers. That's why I gave them to you. Um, if you don't have different colors, you could do, okay, five are unicorns and um, the rest are pizza slices, whatever erasers you got from me or your own teacher. Um, all right, so that was page number 206 where we're just using that. We're using strategies to add and subtract. So everything that we've learned is what we're doing now. The next page is our green page and that is where we do a lot of our understanding and it has a lot of words. So I'm gonna read it to you, it's this page, page 207. It says, think about what you know about strategies that help you solve addition and subtraction problems. Fill in each box, use words, numbers, and pictures. Show as many ideas as you can. So we have talked a lot about different strategies and I've told you, you know, it's not whether you know eight minus five is three, it's knowing what strategies will help you. Um, because then that way, like plumbers, they have toolboxes or electricians or any kind of mechanic has a toolbox. And then when they get to a different um, job or they have different work to do, they can pull out a different tool and that helps them solve the problem. Just like in math, you get all of these different equations, excuse me, not equations, strategies. And these different strategies are what help you solve the problem. You can pull out a different tool for what you need, as long as it's in your toolbox. Okay. Uh, so here we're doing strategy and we're doing all the different strategies that we know. So we write strategy so it looks like yours. And then you have three boxes, one, two, Three. Now remember, you can fill in words, pictures, and everything. So one of my favorite ones is counting on, right? Counting on, because these are strategies for um, addition and subtraction. So counting on gets you to add, and then you just flip it because it's subtraction. So I'm gonna write count on. So I'm gonna say seven minus four equals, I don't know, I can turn that into four plus blank equals seven. And then I know four plus one, two, three, is seven. That's counting on. That is a way that I would use. Okay, so if I know that four plus three is seven, I now know that seven minus four is three. Boom. Awesome. Okay, another way that I could do is I know all the different ways to make eight. So we did zero plus eight equals eight, one plus seven equals eight. Oops, one plus six does not equal eight. Two plus six equals eight. Three plus five equals eight. Four plus four equals eight. If I know those facts, if I know those really easily, then it will help me. Okay, those are all the different ways to make eight, but there are lots of other ways to make other numbers. Okay, awesome. Um, another thing I know is I can use the number line. Number line. We talked about that a little bit. It was like, what, four minus two equals, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. Do four, jump is where it starts. Jump back to one, two, minus one, minus one, stopping at two. That's a great way to subtract. If I'm moving this way, that's subtraction. Again, if I move this way on the number line, I'm adding. So the number line is a really great thing. You can also um, draw. So another great strategy would be three plus one, two, three, four. Okay, and count those on. Or if you're subtracting, cross them out. So there's a lot of different strategies. 
Okay, number two. Ooh, it says explain your strategy for solving six minus two. Explain means they are looking for words primarily. If you can show it with pictures, awesome. But what they wanna know is um, they wanna see what's in here. They want you to put it onto the paper. So explain your strategy for solving six minus two. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm actually gonna write the equation down here so I don't forget six. And I'm gonna take away two. Now I'm gonna count the rest. One, two, three, four. So I start with six, comma, cross, out two, and four are left. Please pause this and write it down. That's a great way to explain what you did. So I'm using words to describe what this is. I start with six, cross out two, and four are left. Mm. Pretty cool, right? Okay, good. Turning the page, we're on our last page for today, and it's page 208, and it says solve the problem show your work. I have seven buttons. So I'm gonna circle seven. Um, I have seven buttons. Three buttons are yellow. So three are yellow. The rest are green. How many are green? So I have seven buttons, three are yellow. One of the strategies we learned was I can do three yellow buttons, one, two, three. And then I have, that's my three yellow, why, why, why? I'm gonna count on until I get to seven. So I'm gonna have three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Okay, this is number seven. I'll move it over so you can tell. Now I'm going to count how many are green. One, two, three, four. Four are green. Your equation looks like this. Seven minus three equals four. You could also draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take away the three that are yellow. One, two, three. However many you have left are the green. You have one, two, three, four two different strategies for solving the same thing for how many buttons are green. Awesome job. I love you guys. I'm very proud of you. Bye.